Yeah, I was hurt on a job doing heavy lifting and hurt my arm. And uh, I've been doing everything the workman's comp says, you know, doctors, therapy, everything. And I'm still looking at possibly another surgery. But I want to know at what point and how do I go about when a settlement comes around? What point is that going to be and how do I know if it's the right settlement? Sure. Well, you know, the, the, the way workers' comp works is you cannot settle your case or you're not supposed to settle your case until you reach what they call maximum medical improvement or uh, MMI. You may see that in your doctor reports, MMI. That doesn't mean you're well, it just means the doctor says, I've gotten you as well as I can get you, and at that point your case is ripe uh, for settlement. And what should happen, depending upon the injury, the doctor should send you to what they call a functional capacity evaluation, and that is a physical test usually done by the physical therapist, and it uh, you know, puts you through a battery of physical, you know, physical, physical requirements or physical tests that measure the loss of use of your body as a result of the injury. How much you can lift now, how much you can push or pull, how far you can reach, and all that information is given to the doctor and it's put into what they call an impairment rating. An impairment rating is a medical term that measures loss of use of your body. That goes in, that percentage, 5%, 10%, 15%, goes into a mathematical formula that the legislature created, and then it gives you a range of money that you may or may not be entitled to. But let's talk about uh, if you do hire an attorney, which if you're talking about a serious injury or serious workers' comp injury, um, the, the fees are so low, and you can, an attorney can really enhance, a good attorney like Stewart can really enhance what someone will get. Well, I just, at 15%, I just don't see how you, you, why you wouldn't hire an attorney. I mean, what I'm explaining out here is so complicated. I mean, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. I, before I became a lawyer and went to law school, I was, you know, I thought I was a pretty sharp guy, but I never heard of workers comp. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't know what it was or what it did. And, uh, you know, you don't, if, uh, you are potentially leaving money on the table that if you, you deserve, don't. That you yeah. deserve, that you are entitled to. And the thing I think you need to be aware of is that in Alabama, like I said, you, you have an impairment rating and that figure goes into this formula that gives you a range. Well, what these insurance companies won't tell you is you may get a letter in the mail offering you what your impairment rating is. Well, what they don't tell you is, well, a judge isn't bound by that impairment rating. If you can't go back to your job, the value of the impairment rating potentially goes up and uh, that could be more money. Yeah. So always, always uh, consult with a lawyer.